Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is once again rolling out the Patch Tuesday security updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11, which started rolling out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 8th of April. And the Patch Tuesday updates are compulsory mandatory updates, so they will be downloaded and installed automatically, unless for some reason you have they know how to disable Windows updates or you have paused the update for a couple of days. Now for Windows 10 22H2, the update for this month, if we head into our update history, is KB5055518. And because it is a mandatory update, if we just head into Winver about Windows, just to see the build upgrade. Version 22H2 of Windows 10 after the update has been applied is sitting on build 19045.5737. Now, the updates that do roll out on the second Tuesday of every month, as you may well know, address security issues for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And just to have a quick overview as to what has been fixed security-wise for this month, in Windows 10 with the update. So there are 60 vulnerabilities in total that have been patched. 56 are important and 4 are critical, which is a highest rank vulnerability. And those critical vulnerabilities are all remote code execution vulnerabilities. And those remote code execution vulnerabilities mean that if it's not patched, a hacker or an attacker can gain access to your system over an internet or over a network so 60 vulnerabilities for critical so important security updates are rolling out now once again with the patch tuesday updates the security update will include the improvements that were part of this update kb5053643 that rolled out towards the end of last month which was march march's optional bug fix c release update so if you didn't install this update, because it is optional, those fixes and improvements now will be carried over into this update. Now, I did post a whole video on the update, 5053643, and I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. But just a quick recap. The optional update added a new Note2 font. It fixed File Explorer thumbnails crashing. It improved the security of temporary file storage. It fixed printer driver issue with printing random text. And there were some other bug fixes taking place under the hood. And that printing issue with that was printing random text was an official known issue that Microsoft patched. So as mentioned, if you didn't install this update, those fixes will be carried over into this update. Go check the video out if you'd like some more information regarding those fixes. And over and above the security fixes that have rolled out with this month's patch tuesday update for windows 10 we also get a daylight saving update dst for for the azen region in chile to support the government dst change order in 2025 so that would obviously is region specific and then getting back to this update there is a change that the update did make to windows 10 that i've also posted on where 5053643 removes the clock and the seconds from the taskbar calendar flyout. And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. So there's a good chance now when you install the Patch Tuesday update for this month, um, obviously those improvements are carried over So and those fixes. So it removes this clock. And as mentioned in that video, which will be linked, I was puzzled by this because just months before end of support, Microsoft has pulled this handy feature. So I thought that was interesting. And by the way, because Microsoft has removed seconds from the calendar flyout, if you'd like to put seconds here in the system tray next to your system tray clock, just like it is over on Windows 11, then I have posted a video how you can do that on Windows 10 by tweaking the registry and I'll leave that link down below 
and in the end screen because I think a couple of users because that now has started to be removed might want seconds down here in the system tray as a kind of a plan B option. Now something else I have noticed that wasn't mentioned uh, in the release notes for this update that we have touched on previously um, on the channel is that Microsoft has rolled out a couple of changes to the system about page which we have touched on previously on the channel so if we just head over to that quickly yeah we can see that Microsoft has included new top cards just like they have over on Windows 11 where you can view your installed RAM your processor, your graphics card, and your storage. So basically it gives you a quick overview, a quick glance about the key hardware components that are installed on your device. And I actually think this is a nice move, but something else that this update has included is it has included the frequently asked questions, which are at the bottom of the about page, which we have spoken about previously. So if we just head down to those, yeah, you can see frequently asked questions. And we can also see that the color is now different to the rest of the about page where previously it was all the same color. And yeah, we have three questions that Microsoft has included, which are obviously more for your, your average Joe. You're not so tech savvy person. So the first question is, how does having 8 to 16 gigabytes of RAM impact my PC's performance? And then they give the answer. Is my GPU sufficient for high-end gaming and video experience? Obviously with the answer. And am I running the latest version of Windows OS? And then it says you are currently using Windows 10. It's worth considering an upgrade to the latest version and so on. So and more of benefit, I think, once again, just like the top cards to your not so tech savvy person but something I must say about this um, is it looks a little bit rushed it doesn't look like it's actually the UI doesn't look right it looks a little bit off I don't know if you agree with me it looks like it was kind of hurried out it looks a little bit clunky to me but nonetheless there we go those top cards just like on Windows 11 so basically that's a Windows 11 feature in, that's moved into and now available on Windows 10 and then your frequently asked questions. So go check it out. It might be region specific, but that wasn't mentioned in the change log, which is a good indication that it could be on a controlled region specific rollout. But nonetheless, just thought I'd bring those two changes um, to your attention that weren't mentioned in the release notes. And that's what's rolled out with KB5055518 for Windows 10 version 22H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.